Hello, hello everyone. Y'all doing today? Uh, today, I'm uh, gonna be painting, doing our daily drawn stream. I'm uh, gonna be painting up uh, some Calliope Mori and uh, Kurei Gioli. I, I had a neat idea for um, a painting referencing the old 1948, 1958 something movie uh, of Hamlet. The uh, alas, poor Yorick, I thought would be amusing to recreate with Calliope holding the skull uh, or Calliope holding uh, Oli's head. So that's what we'll be doing today. Anyway, let's uh, get started. Hello, Code. How you doing today? Always a pleasure to see you here. You doing some more uh, Warhammer models today? Ah, oh, working on some school stuff. All right, well. Glad to have you. Uh, glad to have you join me, just as uh, your background chatter while working on school stuff. I, I feel bad for her that she ends up as the uh, butt of so many jokes, but she is so reactive to it, so I think it uh, she does kind of self-perpetuate it because of that. But also, uh... Her head pops off, so she works really well for this joke, and very few other characters would.
Now, unfortunately, uh, or I suppose fortunately, I, either way, uh, the original scene that this is based off of, neither one is looking directly at the camera. They're both kind of looking off. I don't, and the face of the skull is somewhat covered up, so I think I'm going to be very slightly altering it, combining a couple of different frames from the scene just to help get the uh, effect across, hit the effect, but still feel very reminiscent and have a slightly better uh, paint, painting at the end sort of deal. Mm. Also, a, uh, a fun little side note, I, I missed it when it happened, but uh, as of a couple days ago, I have passed 100 total uh, hours watched by viewers, so thank you very much, especially you, Code, always joining me, lending me your time, really appreciate it. Huh. That's that's weird. I I would have no idea why that is. I The for me whenever I try and uh check a stream on mobile or even just watch a video on mobile, it's almost always uh really low resolution. Like YouTube downgrades it so much, but computer, it's never a problem for me. Hmm. Yeah, that is weird. Normally the mountains are pretty uh bad for phone signal. I'm glad you enjoy my streams. angle mm -hmm. 
I think I'm going to do this painting in black and white to help uh, evoke the original movie even a little bit more and probably ha have to throw a fairly hefty noise filter on it at the end too just to help mimic that uh, old camera grain. But, but I think it'll be cool. That's the hope anyway. Glad you could drop in, if only for a few minutes. Always, always glad to see you, Code. Take care. I guess Ollie's head in this image is wider than so we're gonna have to crank this armor, I think. Alright, let's adjust that to more there. Yeah. There we go. That's roughly the pose. Oh wait, why am I zooming in? I should just be expanding this. So we got... A eh, very rough pose, but it'll do. This is a very hard pose with the eyes, just because they're like, just barely open.
call the news is pretty back curved like that on the model. Just kind of anime girl nudes shape. Eyebrows are so soft and relaxed. Just that face. Bring the. There we go. That's that's looking pretty good like that. just realized it's going to leave me with a slight predicament in that the skull does not have an expression on it, so that might be a bit of an issue when it comes to drawing Oli's face, as I'm going to have to come up with something. Some kind of appropriate expression. Let's see, I can we draw it in the 
heroin. I think that'll help. So mm -hmm. was the uh, scalp. There we go. All right. It's nice, like, in the original scene, there is a nice little cheek shadow right here that I think I'm going to want to try and get. So distinct and telling. All right, as well as a little shadow under the nose. Also, an interesting shadow right through here that I think is going to be really important to capture for this piece. Shadow comes up through here. Let's see, we have a and that's interesting. There it, it cuts out across the lip as well. So dramatic pulling out those shadows like that. Let's see, is there any other good shadows we can pull on here? Um, this there's a little shadow over this eye that I think I'm going to exaggerate a bit. And then I'm also going to come in and exaggerate the shadow off the nose here. There isn't really one in the scene, but I, I feel like exaggerating it's going to be the, the way to go. not be a good choice. Mm. No, it makes the nose feel too tall, I think. So we're not going to exaggerate that one. Though we are still going to get the uh, under nose shadow.
There we go. There we go. Okay, that that is cut out very dramatically there. So let's get some hair in that and uh, see what we can see what we can do. know if we're gonna see that piece of hair coming off the back there but we're gonna draw it for now and if it gets erased later oh well go. That's starting to look kind of like Callie's face. Let's see. that I think I believe that's vaguely an ear Mm-hmm. 
we get rid of that little lump there. Just because it was a bit awkward. Perfect. Well, never perfect. Always good enough. That that feels pretty, pretty much like a, a Clive and Mori right there. A solemn reaper, indeed. All right, let's get the crown on. In this angle, we're gonna get, yeah, kind of, and mm, where's the crown connect to the hair? It's gonna be along here, I think. Let me clean that up a little bit. Is that too far forward? That might. This is a tough angle for. There we go. I think that's about. Well, maybe not quite. Very close, though. Mm. You know what? Why why am I doing this that way when I can just rotate the painting and then adjust it? That's probably about right. Let's see, and then it's going to be a cylinder, sort of. Well, a cylinder with bits cut out. here. Side. And we can clean out everything that would actually be hidden. And add our little gem. Pretty good. All right, let's see. Um, we can add the veil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And this piece is gonna be crushed up against the head a touch, so it's we're gonna have to draw it to press up there. All right, that's pretty close approximation of a Calliope Mori face. Let's get the necklace in. Hmm, need to figure out the shoulders first, actually. Let's see. spread my wings my wings want to spread my wings spread my wings spread my wings and fly to begin I do anything I the wind to carry me while I spread my wings and fly open everything I can do anything I just need the wind to carry me while I spread my wings no I'm powerful can't care if I fall I just need the wind to carry me while I spread my wings. Spread my wings. No, I'm powerful. Don't care if I fall. Just 
in the wind to carry me while I spread my wings. Let's uh, paint some chesticles or sketch out the chesticles area. got on her. So it seems to clasp the sleeve a little bit. Joe. Always got to have your coffee round when you're drawing. I mean, actually, it's kind of just always got to have your coffee round. It, it really isn't even limited to drawing. blocks in the other shoulder. We will uh, draw out some other stuff first before we get back to that shoulder just because I don't know how much of it's going to get hidden. Um, let's see, then she's got this decoration huh. on her, over her collarbone here. clavicle doily that that is the worst name I have ever come up with for something but that that is the best way I would describe this Let's 
see. Need to get this right. Okay, so we got the two little wings. And those kind of form that shape. And then there's like a little triangle sticking off. Like that. There we go. Now that's a little bit better. like that. That being said, this corner, which would be blocked off anyway later, but I guess we'll get it fixed. in a little more. I'm still kind of kind of sorting out the painting. <laughs> that being said, uh, the booba are not the point of the, this particular painting. They are just present. Probably should stop spending too much time on them. As I continue to, I say, as I continue to draw them and polish. Okay, we're moving on. Um, oli oli oli. I think that's going to be the next big pieces. all that. So let's merge those, because that's going to be the correct Cali line art. And now I need an Oli line art. Oli Oli Oli. <laughs> oli Oli Oxenby. Oops. 
Um, let's maybe make the brush a bit bigger. It's an odd angle to work at. Let's rotate. Alright, how do I do? I think that'll work much better. Let's see, in the skull, in the, in the original shot, it's turned out like that, so we should have the jaw kind of coming like that. I'm not don't think I'm gonna bother painting any kind of neck at all for Oli. Even though sometimes one might consider painting her decapitated form with the uh a neck stub. But not in this case. <laughs> Let's see. So should I have Oli comedically looking over? I wonder. That might be funny. Though perhaps less dramatic. Or perhaps more dramatic. Who knows? Just contrast the solemnness of... Ali's expression with Oli, or we could go with more of a solemn Oli. keep the mood and have big mood I think I like the idea of solemn only. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I think. Let me erase the center line here real quick. Um, and we're going to pop, pop out the expression where we are cut. Just so we can play with both options. Um, I'm gonna hide, hide the face. We could have acorn mouth her. Or the acorn? Uh chestnut? Chestnut. The 
chestnut mouth. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe the more solemn one. Solemn one, the eyes are too high. Let's fix that real quick. We're there. Hmm. I don't think I like the chestnut mouth. Though I might still, just because it, well, it does a great shock mouth. It's not quite. Um, the, uh, the smiley, um, might be appropriate. <laughs> that kind of, uh oh. I think I think the solemn one keeps the mood the best. Though the uh, goofy ones definitely fit Holly a little better. Uh, it's hard to say. could work. It's just a matter of which do I want to draw. I think if we do a solemn one, we can go just go hard, moody, and have the whole thing fit that. So I think that's what we'll do. So let's not delete that layer. Let's... Alright. Let's see, Callie's got those strong shadows across her. Ollie's gonna have a similar shadow structure on her. <laughs> oh, right. Well, let's merge that down. There we go. Let's get a good look at your eyes there, Ollie. Oh, interesting. Eat.
I think the eyelid looks neat in the all design. It's very hard to work with in this particular piece, so I don't think we're doing her eyelids quite as they are drawn. It's not yet. We might adjust. Oh wait, why am I doing it like this? I should rotate. Something is how I only rotated back to vertical to uh, check what how it looked. <laughs> Let me remove the scarf for a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe make that a little bit. Haha. <laughs> This is going to have to come over, and this comes up to me. <laughs> and let's shape the edge of the head a little bit more. We'll make it a little cuter. out a little bit. It's just uh, maybe a lack of eyebrows. <sighs> Getting the pen size right. It's a little hard sometimes. All right. lips a little bit. All right. Does, does she have a soda tab for an earring? What? What? Or maybe that's a zipper. That's such an odd little thing. It looks like a soda tab. this chin out just a little bit. Tuck in here. Oop. 
Holly, all sad, but she got reaped. Her hair is really weird because it's like all clumpy. So I suppose that might be expected off of a zombie. If the hair is coming from parts of lots of different people. Or at least multiple people stitched together. Let's see if this one drops over the eye. And that's going to drop over here. That. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's see. We're getting close to being done with our line art and can get into the, well, not coloring, but shading, because I was going to do this one in black and white. This odd one, which just tucks under something else. Then we have this one, which crosses it. the silver one, the silver clump here. There we go. Uh, another red, which comes from here. Actually, it comes really low on the face. Had to itch my eye. Hmm. Pull that down 
just a little bit so we have a clear right touch there. Um, let me soften this chin just a little bit. It's feeling not feminine enough, not cute enough. Um, hmm. Let's rotate back. Mm -hmm. uh. And we'll pull that out here. This should actually fall fairly low given everything. Now this piece is like actually broken into several smaller pieces, but we're drawing it like that just for now. Put a little couple wedges in it to indicate what's gonna happen to it. Alright. There we go. Uh... And this kind of dangles off over towards behind the head, it looks like. There's a little chunk there, and then we go back to the front side. And her hair is like just a series of ribbons as opposed to hair. It's challenging. Let's put it that way. style up a little bit. You know there's going to be kind of an ear here, so we're just going to put a, a hint of an ear somewhere in there. Uh, next, hair bun. Big hair bun. This thing is mostly behind the head. So from this angle, we're actually not gonna see a lot of it. Uh, so let's block it in. We'll break it up. Oh, you know what I think part of it is? I think that nose is... Uh, no, maybe I think it is the chin. I accidentally drew something in the face a little too masculine. I'm still not quite sure what it is, so we're going to sort that out. But it's going to frustrate me until we do. draws bun. Most of this we're not going to see. Uh, 
Okay. Let's figure out what the hell is wrong with that chin. Alrighty. Um, let's pull this slightly more in there. And look a little more around it. That should help. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, let's, let's pull the chin up a little bit. Like that, maybe? Um, maybe it's that the... There we go. Jaw needed to come up smoother. I think that's part of it, too. And there's going to be a little bit of hair there that we'll see... Also, there's a big bow on her head. Uh, can we get that in there? So if we hide our sketch, yeah, that's getting vaguely there. Ooh, it's warm in here. Probably need to hydrate. I don't have a glass with me, though, so we're just going to push through for now, I think. Mm -hmm. Want to drop the opacity just a little more. I like the hand positions better for this part, so let's do that. <laughs> let's see, that's one part of Ollie, that's two parts all the way, that's three parts. So we'll merge those. I think part of it is this right here also needed to be softer. Oh, how you doing, Matt? Thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate it. Doing a, I'm doing a parody of a, of a Hamlet, just because I thought it would be funny. All 
right. A little, little touch there. I don't believe that there's a oh, there's a gauntlet, but there's not really or an, a bracelet. I guess it'd be a not gauntlet, but yeah, van brace. That's that's the one I'm looking for. Uh, on the arm. All right. Um. I mean, the one is a zombie, so uh, de decapitation without being dead is happens. But yeah, the, the character playing the role of the skull here is uh, Kureiji Ali, uh, who is a character from the Hololive group. Um, and zombie, very gray skin, all stitched together. That's what this line going through here is, is, is it's like staples and like Frankenstein style. be a little more obvious like that. <laughs> that is an odd hand position that are actors in stroking the skull there. It's very stiff looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, reading some stuff on Reddit. Oh, neat. Another uh, collab with Azura Lane for the your world of warships that's neat Ozra Lane does a lot of collabs interestingly enough uh, an Ozra Lane collab is how I first learned about Hollow Live years and years ago Ozer Lane's under attack in Japan uh, for being a Chinese property, I take it, or something? Or went to a Japanese war memorial that included names of... Huh, interesting. 
that's... <laughs> okay, sure, why not? I don't... I don't understand it. I don't pretend to understand uh, that sort of thing. All I know is it seems to happen a lot. In those fingers, just a touch. So, Otago is pulled from the most recent... Huh. Apparently there's rumors might pull all Azura Lane support for Japan over it. Huh. News to me. that would mean that they'd pull support for other games in the area. Like, just all the games that the uh, Yostar makes. It'd be unfortunate. I really like Yostar's games. Like, the gameplay is super solid in them. arm in right now. Um, that'd be way too long if we were to go all the way down like we did in the sketch. So we're gonna have to bring the arm up a little bit. More there, I think. and then try and apply more of a foreshortening going on over here. Mm, can we maybe foreshort a little less if we turn this out? Yes, there we go. Yeah, there's 
been some weird stuff happening that with that just with media in general Let's read this. Slayer and adjust the fingers just a little bit, make them a little bit thinner. Hold it. There we go. here we'll erase the line art over here and then hide the hair Oop. yeah like that because it's just going to be the hand that we see here there we go Hmm. <laughs> mm, that arm, the, the back arm there feels too long. Let me fix. and clean up. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, cleaned up enough, probably. 
let's draw a quick torso in there. Just, just a quick thing, because we're probably going to do this. And crop, we'll crop it by the end so that we're probably getting like, not quite getting the torso and bottom of the elbow. Actually, maybe I can just do that now if I zoom out enough. Yeah, like that. <laughs> well, that's certainly a story. The video game industry forever continues to have a weird drama happen for seemingly no reason. Kotaku got in trouble today, or got scolded today by Microsoft for releasing an idiotic article. Presumably it was basically just a clickbait article is what most people are thinking. But, you know, that's just Kotaku. Everything they do is clickbait. That's not going to be seen at all. Well, not color, but shading in there. <laughs> or do I want to color it? Maybe I'll color it and then just so I have the color and then do a black and white convert. Mm. Nah, let's just color it. Let's just color it. It'll be more trouble than it's worth to fiddle around that way, I think.
right? Oh, darn, you know what? I forgot to uh, do the line art for some of the other stuff. Uh, specifically on Callie here. She's got like this uh, veiled arm. Which actually does let me put an armband on here to where it ends and help add roundedness. Has the uh, Vambrace here. Most of what was forgotten. Is that too red? That might be too red because it's pretty light pink hair. Yeah, that's better.
Let's also adjust this background here while we're at it. Mm, um, let's see. Callie and Ollie are both pretty warm, so let's go with something in the muted purples, I think. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Fortunately, the two have a pretty similar color scheme overall, which helps aside from skin tone. So the so the redhead there, it, they're both characters from the Hollow Live franchise. The redhead is Kureiji Oli, and the uh, pink-haired girl is Kalliope Mori. Um, they are VTubers. They, you know, do stream stuff on the internet, and I'm drawing them because they get really, really good. Um, interaction on Twitter when you post pictures and stuff, so it's a good way to uh, get attention drawn to things. Also, I thought it would be an amusing side thing, because Calliope is a, is a Grim Reaper, and Ollie is a zombie, so it, they, uh, it, this particular pair fit together well for something stupid like this. It's just a stupid pose. Uh, other than that, it's not related to Hamlet. It, that's why it's a parody with uh, some swapped out characters. You need to uh, consider it a little less seriously, I think. Basically, I thought that the two would make a fun pose together, and the idea of uh, Calliope holding Ollie's head in a Hamlet pose amused me, so that's what we have. Oof. Sorry to hear it, Code. Welcome back.
Okay, let's see. Let's see. Dark purple gray for that coat. from Hamlet is it again uh the only one I know is to be um it's the uh alas poor Yorick um th I believe this this particular pose was even the one that was on the cover of the 1948 uh film Hamlet well, rather, that's the reference I've been using for the pose. So it's a rather famous pose associated with the play. That's most of the rough colors blocked in. The bronze is still. feel like doing all the filigree on the arms, so I don't think we're going to today. Anyway, but that does finish up most of this. Uh, so let's get her veil. Uh, that might need to be its own layer above everything. And then just set to a 50%.
Oh, welcome, Lady Kara. How you doing? Thank you for dropping in. to adjust the bail a little. Either way. All right, and then let's set that to like a 35. That'll work. And lock that. Um, I'm gonna take these lower layers uh, duplicate them, hide the originals, and merge. And we can just start drawing right on it. Or cutting, shaping stuff right on it. Well, just finished a production on Twitch. All right. Well, I hope that went well on Twitch. Uh, glad to have you join me here afterwards. close towards the end of this painting as I just kind of get the colors blocked in and cleaned up and then we'll be done probably maybe another half hour or so though because it'll take a little while Ooh. thank you I, I appreciate it um, it's a parody piece based off of the uh, cover of the 1948 Hamlet film. The Specifically it relating to the Alas Poor Yorick, which was used as the cover, if I recall. Or at least one of the covers. Thank you. I appreciate that code.
See, um, we need to pull a little wider in for our highlights. <laughs> and let's grab a little bit darker and saturate to just do that quick outline. edges up. All right. Let's see what we can do about making this these eyes really nice. While they look decent as a gesture there, they they could do a lot better. Mm-hmm. 
let's see if we can touch up that little spot right there. Brighten it. So hard to do the, this kind of eye just because it's so there's so little eye exposed, but if you don't get what little eye is exposed right, it just does not convey any emotion whatsoever. hint there I think all right let's just a touch of blush there just a touch that might even be too much I think it's enough blood. I thought Mori's eyes were a bit paler. Could be wrong though. Um, they're yeah, they might be a little bit paler. It can brighten them slightly. That might help. Uh, though, I, actually, I think it's the pupil. The pupil is not pure black for Mori. Hmm. 
So maybe that's it. It's very dark pink purple. Heck, even her eyelashes have a little bit of that really dark pink purple coloring. looks a little more right um back eye there okay maybe maybe that part of it is i think that eye might be a little small could use a little bit more warmth to them. A little bit of subsurface scattering how to fix that. Let's go warmer. Yeah, yeah, I knew what you meant. Uh, blush, not blood. It, I, it, it took me a moment after I read it to realize it, but yeah, I, I figured it out. Fortunately, there wasn't any uh, blood in the painting, so it wasn't terribly hard to figure out.
back. Let me blend that together just a bit. Look a little darker than I needed. There we go. We'll highlight. Um, let's see. This eye needs a little adjustment. More like that. Close there on Cali. I'll just redraw the inside. Alright, maybe I misestimated that uh half hour more. Might be might be a bit more than that to actually finish this because getting the, the polish in has been taken a little bit longer than I was expecting. Oh well. Longer stream doesn't hurt, I suppose. I don't think it'll be that much longer though. No, well not that much longer than that half hour I estimated ago. Fifteen minutes ago. Maybe, maybe a full hour. Whatever, just mumbling. Um, let's get this crown real quick. This one should be easy. Oh, I should just do that on top of the veil, because it's on top of the veil. <laughs>
Tiara done. Uh, so much more. Sometimes I wish I was better at drawing line art so that it actually looked neat rather than just like a series of scribbles so that I didn't feel the need to kind of paint over all of it. Because, and I could like leave bits of exposed line art, but I am super inconsistent about getting good line art. about getting line art that has a look that feels finished to it. I should, I should clarify. Wait, what's the purple that's for the background? Why am I filling in with that? This should be a dark gray black. Tiny bit of Ollie hair back there. to the college stuff I'm doing in Chromebooks don't count as computers and I completely agree. <laughs> yeah, Chromebooks are interesting. They're nice little tools for some casual day-to-day -day stuff, but if you're trying to do much serious with software, Chromebook is a uh, prohibitive, to say the least. I mean, it's basically just a really big uh, Android phone in a lot of ways. Fancy bricks. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, if your college doesn't let you use them for stuff, then yeah, they're a little more than a brick, I suppose. I've never had one, honestly, just because uh, they're not great for doing art stuff on. Like they had a, they tried to have some stuff for it, but they just they went, they started, but didn't really like go the full nine yards, and it and ends up just being a not very good tool for the job. But, you know, that's kind of just Google and everything they do is always minimum viable products, so. I wonder how long before Chromebooks go to the graveyard. Even successful things by Google tend to go to the graveyard eventually. Oh, oh, for sure. Yeah, Chromebooks are not going to handle anything like that very easily. Enter the jacket in there. Oh, yeah, we're just painting with purple. We'll just have to leave it as a simple flat purple background for this, I think. It's gonna be too much trouble to fix it after the fact. Mm -hmm. 
Oof. Shadow for this hand. Uh, did that get too dark? Oh, that did somehow. Oh. This is a little lock of red hair.
Get in there and like actually do our face proper like color one red, one yellow, huh? know if we're gonna see much of the little x in that eye just because of the how closed it is but we'll we'll see because it's kind of like a little uh button she has replacing her eye let's do that uh kind of heavy deathly under eye shadows <laughs> sort of look she, well she's normally a lot uh, a lot more chipper and doesn't really have that on her normal thing it will help convey the idea that this is dead ollie <laughs> help her fit in with the roll of the skull a bit better
Uh, I don't feel like painting the, the hair ribbon today. We're going to leave it off. Just paint over it. The character will still convey... been so far in the background of the character anyway that it's not that big a deal if it's missing. Like even on the character model proper, it you don't really notice it too much. That's probably good enough for there. Conveys the idea well enough. Uh, let's finish up Maury's torso here and we'll call it a day. So it is getting a little warm here in this room because this, uh, this, this tablet I draw on generates a lot of heat when I'm drawing on it and it, it is difficult for airflow to keep up sometimes. Especially on a hot summer day like this. Going out for food? All right, well, see you later, Code. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it as always. and we'll get the uh it's kind of like a veiled sleeve we'll get that done here shortly as a transparency thing similar to the, the veil on her head Oof.
And then this is just slightly lighter. Mark that, uh, put that in, and arm veil, and we'll be done. Arm veil is like a really dark bronze. And I am simplifying it here a little bit. That is actually a much more intricate pattern on it than the three rings. It's there's the upper arm cuff, the lower arm cuff, and then at the wrist, it's like this super intricate thing. But I did not feel like it was necessary for the piece to do the super intricate thing, so we're not doing it today. go maybe not perfect but all things considered pretty good for three hours work i used to put my phone on a cold coaster but then i found it was a very cheap phone <laughs> well i mean my my tablet's a little big even for on a coaster it's a. Uh, it's like 24 inches across on the tablet, so it's it's not really going to fit on anything, and uh, that still doesn't prevent the room from getting warm, because it's just the screen itself is quite warm. Anyway, uh, that's the piece. It's been fun. Thank you all for coming to watch. I do really appreciate it. Um, but that is the show for today. Uh, the next few shows will be in the morning, because the weekends tend to be busy in the afternoons for me, so I'm going to toss the schedule on up for that real quick, And uh, but that's, that's the end. Thanks, thanks for coming out.